Hey there everyone, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for watching. This will be another Quick Tech 5 video, meaning we will cover a topic end-to-end -end in under 5 minutes. In this video we are going to cover creating or configuring dynamic DNS in a Synology RT2600AC. The same process exactly also applies to the Synology MR2200AC if you are using that device as your primary wireless router. And I, I'm pretty sure that the process will be unchanged or changed very slightly, if any, on future SRM uh, versions or releases. So let's dive right in. In order to configure Dynamic DNS, we'll open the network center on our uh, uh, SRM device web interface. We will go to the Internet tab right here. And we'll go to the Quick Connect and DDNS tab right here. And on the bottom of the page, we have the DDNS configuration portion of the page. We'll click on Add. By the way, the, uh, 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 the device knows how to sync against a whole lot of dynamic DNS service providers. But as a Synology device owner, by the way, even if, you're own, even if you own a Synology NAS device, you're also entitled to a free uh, Synology a dynamic DNS entry and for the service providers for the service provider sorry we'll select Synology right here that's exactly what I'm going to do pick your host name I'm going to pick a host name that I've been using for a long time you can select the domain name there are many that Synology provides but I'm going to stick with Synology.me enable the heartbeat of course now as long as you're configuring dynamic DNS, you should also check this checkbox so that the device will automatically go to Let's Encrypt, uh, to Let's Encrypt, so, uh, sorry, and uh, uh, get a certificate for your device. A certificate will come in handy when you try to use uh, the, the dynamic DNS. We don't have time to get into everything that this enables you to do in this video, but as long as you're configuring, just request the certificate. I already done it in previous configurations, so I don't need to reissue it right now. Select agree to the Synology Terms and Services and click OK. Now, this will take about a minute, even two minutes. The service will start up, will initialize, will get all the information that it needs and start syncing your probably dynamic public IP address you are getting from your ISP and sync it with this static uh, DNS hostname that will be reachable uh, from the outside. As I said, this enables us to do a lot of other stuff if it's VPN, if it's port forwarding, even if it's a remote management of uh, the device of the router itself. Of course, I, uh, th this is a topic on, on its own. We will not be able to cover it in this video. But guys, this is how you uh, configure dynamic DNS in a Synology router. I hope this was informative and join me all in the next video. Bye everyone.